Hey, what's up? This is Sawyer, and today I'm excited to show off the latest project I've been working on, Tarragon, which is basically background agents for Cloud Code. Um, what if you could have the workflow of cursor background agents or Codex, but instead of being limited to the agent that they wrote, what if you could bring your own? Um, and in this case, we're basically letting you use your own uh, Cloud Code subscription, um, basically in a cloud environment. Um, the main upside of this versus uh, you could doing just running a bunch of cloud codes locally is that basically each one's isolated. You can spin them up for anywhere, your phone, you can close your laptop, you can go for a walk, come back, uh, have like all these instances of Claude do like a bunch of tasks for you and then you can go and review them, bring them that last 10% of the way and sort of finish them up. Um, and I feel like this honestly has been like the biggest workflow change in my life. I think the, the first major leap was using cursor you know, the next big leap was using Claude Code, and I think the leap after that was, you know, unleashing all these instances of Claude Code in parallel. Um, it truly feels exciting. So yeah, let, let me dive. Let me, enough, enough, uh, enough yapping. Uh, let me actually show you uh, a little bit of the interface. Um, so up here we have the prompt box. This is just basically the task that you're going to give Claude Code, um, and then you can pick the GitHub re repository that you'd like to um, give it access to. Um, for example, I can give it the Terragon access or Terragon repo. Um, I can make a new new repo. Uh, I can pick any of my repos that are on GitHub that I auth with Terragon. Um, I can pick a branch to base it off to. I can pick a, a model, et cetera. Um, the other thing is that all these tasks are sort of synced across my devices um, because Claude's just running in the cloud. I can fire off from one place and then pull it on my computer um, and manage it there. For example, I can just pop up my phone and basically fire off a task if I want. Um, here's a screen share of my phone. Um, and maybe let's think of a task to give myself before I uh, <laughs> fire off a task. Um, one thing that'd be great if I could, let me open a new in incognito win window. Let's go to tarragonlabs.com. Let's go to logged out view. You know, I really wish this site had a little bit more pizzazz. So why don't I ask uh, Claude Code to do this um, from the convenience of my phone? Um, so I'm just gonna go on my phone I can just fire off a task um, using my voice. Hey, can you make the landing page a little bit more fun and whimsical? And it'll just do uh, speech to text on this. I love it. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. And you'll see the UI updates there. And uh, that task is now rolling. Um, in fact, if I go here, you'll see that it updates on the desktop too. So basically, you know, you can check the status of these things from anywhere, um, which is super powerful for sort of managing these tests. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm back. Uh, and, you know, it's been a couple minutes and it looks like Claude Code Opus has uh, crack, cranked out a brand new design. Um, so this is a great opportunity to click into one of these tasks and see what we have inside. So you basically see that we actually have the full Claude Code session here. Um, I should have said you could have actually clicked on this at any point and just sort of watched it live stream in. Um, but often it, it's interesting. I'll fire off a bunch of these at once and I'm not really like babysitting any individual one. But you can see going in, uh, you can look at basically the output of all the Claude tools um, exactly like you would. I mean, it looks almost exactly like it does in the console. Um, the other thing is like it opened a PR for us. So if we just click on this, we can look at the PR that it opened for us. And you can do things like view a Vercel build preview and sort of like look at the code, see how it feels. Um, but maybe you just wanna start like taking it and uh, look at it locally. I can go ahead and do that too. Um, I can just copy this code snippet here, open up my editor of choice, in this case cursor, go in, paste this command, and we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and basically it's gonna pull that code, pull that branch, and actually just launch me directly into Claude locally. Um, so you can see here, uh, this is the exact same output that was basically here on the server. Um, you know, I fire this off on my phone, I'm back at my desk, I can go ahead and just take off the work from here um, and play with it. So let's go ahead, we can go in. Uh, let's maybe just look at this change. It's gonna be on localhost. Uh, it's on the landing page, let's log out. My face is in the way. And look at this, it's, oh my God. Well, it, Claude has a different, 
<laughs> a different definition of whimsical than I do. Uh, for context, let's look at the original. I think maybe I showed it. You know, like this, and now it looks more like uh, whatever this is. But, you know, it's fun. Add the heart. It's great. Um, but let's say maybe I, I don't like this. Uh, I can just go in here and say tone down the... You know, and resume this conversation right from here. Um, so yeah, that is like the Tarragon workflow in a nutshell. Um, you can sort of create something uh, basically on your phone, uh, pull it on your computer, test it, clean it up, and merge it um, all from the PR that it created. Anyway, uh, that is Tarragon in a nutshell. Um, we built this to scratch our own itch. Uh, we wanted to be as productive as possible with Cloud Code, so we built this. Um, and yeah, we're ready for more people to try it out. Um, please sign up below at tarragonlabs.com. Um, and we're pretty aggressively letting people off the wait list, so you should get off pretty, pretty soon. Um, yeah, we're basically just looking for feedback on it um, and seeing if people, other people like this workflow as much as we do. Um, right now it's free. Um, we'll, <laughs> if it gets popular, we'll probably run out of money and it's a paid product. Um, but right now we'd, we'd love your, we'd love your feedback. Um, yeah. Thanks. Uh, have a good one. Peace.